Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening live from Total Value RV in our expansive studio, as you can see, which we just use the lot. We're saving on the studio costs in order to bring you savings. So, anyway, what I wanted to show you is we have a 2000 or a 2020 34 DS FR3 by 4 Silver. The DS, I think when you get done, you're going to be able to say, I'm doggone sure that's a great value. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. We got the front cap right here. You can see they have the FR3 logo right in the front there for you with your one piece automotively sealed windshield. So that way you can see this beautiful country of ours. It's in the HD Max, which is a dyed fiberglass. So that way it won't scratch or anything. If it does scratch, it's going to be the same color. Okay, then you have the logos there. You have all your headlights here with your LED there for you. Okay, so we come on around to the side here. It's on the Ford V10 chassis, which has 320 horsepower and 460 foot pounds of torque. Here you can see you got your mirrors, which have the upper and the lower for you. And then also down here is where you have your side cameras. So when you turn on your turn signal, it's going to come down and show you down that side of the coach. So that way you can see what's down here for you. Okay, you got the 19 and a half inch tires on the FR3 for you. You can also see on the slide itself, it has the awning there. So when the awning comes out, the slide is going to come out and protect that area. So that way you don't get any rips or anything within your slide. Okay. So we come on around here, new for 2020, guys, you have the slam latch baggage doors here. Here's where you have your LP, which will run your furnace. It'll run your cooktop for you as well, and your water heater, okay? Then here we have our Onan 5500 watt generator. So this coach does have 50 amp service because you do have two air conditioners on the coach. The generator can run everything that's inside of the coach for you. As long as you got above about an eighth of a tank, then it won't allow you to run your generator anymore. Plus, as you're out shopping around, just take some time and feel these doors, how thick they are. They're insulated doors, okay? And with the same latch, you get the nice, good, solid close. Here's one of your first pass-through storage compartments. You have 195 cubic feet of outside storage. If the cameraman right there, you can also see there's that little drain right there. So that way, if it do get water in it or you want to clean it out, that drain there will just allow the water to run out and not allow it to run back in. Here we have some more storage here, okay, this is the back of your refrigerator here, here we have some more storage, okay, you can see how it goes all the way through, and here is where you have your 50 amp cord right there, and then here you have the hookup for your cable down there, and then you also, on this particular one here, when you're running the generator, you want to take that cord and plug it in right there, and that way it will run everything on the inside for you, so either you're plugged in, or you're plugged into your generator. Here's where you have your fuel fill. Here's where we have our water systems. Okay, we have our outside shower, which you have the hot and the cold. It's also lighted for you. Here's where you have if you're going to be running off of the city water, or if you want to just fill your tank, you do it right here. And then this is the black water flush. And what that'll do for you is you hook your water hose up to it, and it's got little sprayers inside of the tank, so that way it'll clean it out. Then you have your dump valves right there, which you have your gray is the gray, and the black is the black. You got 52 gallons of gray, 52 gallons of fresh, and 52 gallons of black. So we're here on the back cap. You notice we have the ladder right there, so the ladder you can get up on the roof. But you have the TPO roof, which has a 12-year warranty, but you still want to do your yearly maintenance and get up there and check your seals. You have your backup camera right here, so that way when you put it in reverse, you can have it so you can see your toad back here. You have the 5,000 pound hitch and then the, the seven way plug right there for you as well. Also, you'll notice how the ceiling itself is arched. So it's not going to allow any water to just sit on any flat spots. You can see how the water will run off there for you as well. Come around here on the patio side. We have an LP gas quick connect right here. Okay, so you can hook up a gas grill or whatever it may be and do it right there. We have some more storage right here. Some more storage here. We have some more storage here. Okay, another nice little feature I like to point out about the FR3. Look at where the hot water heater is. The hot water heater is below the belt line. So what's an advantage to that? Well, when you light it up on the gas, you don't have to hear the hot water heater lighting and heating up and everything of that nature. It's below your floor line, so it's just going to give you more peace and quiet. Access to your water tanks right there. We have some more storage right here. We 
have some more storage here. And then here you have a plug-in right here where you can charge your phone or whatever it may be. You can do it right there. Okay. Here's where you have your house batteries right here. And then there's your hydraulics for your leveling system itself. Okay. And then this here is for your outside TV. So you got the outside TV right there. But you'll notice it's underneath your patio awning, which the patio awning will come out here for you and open up. You can all sit out here at the end of the day and tell everybody what you saw. This here, you can also see this is the Moride chassis. They've done something a little bit different in 2020. Not only do they have the bars that are going to run horizontally, they also run vertically. So what's that going to do for you? This here is going to be a lot quieter ride for you because you have stabilization out here as opposed to just the bars running this way. We we'll have a little graphic we can show you there as well. This is something nice which I think is great, guys. This is the KOA Care Camps. Anytime you buy a unit from Forest River, they have care camps that they'll get together, have some kids out there that have cancer, and just let them have some memories, go out to a camp for a week, and Forest River will donate to that, which I think is fantastic. This here is for your outside solar. Okay, so you just plug in right there, and that way you can help trickle charge your batteries for you. Okay, again, we have the, the uh, side camera there, and then your mirror here. Okay, so would you like to go inside and take a look? It's a little bit warmer inside than it is here at our studio. One thing you'll notice when you're going in is the width of the door. First of all, you have three steps, so it's going to be a lot easier, a lot less steps or height to have the step to go up into. But you also notice this door here is a 30 inch wide door. So what that's going to be important when we're bringing our gear in and out, we're not going to have to turn sideways to get in and out. Now right here when you come here, this will show you what you can do for the weight of the vehicle. You got your VIN number here. This here is telling us that we can put in 2,510 pounds of carrying capacity that you have within this motorhome. Okay? And that includes six people being seat belted. Okay? Then right when we walk in, we have our battery disconnect right here. And then here, this is for our bed control, which is right above Mr. Cameraman right there. So if you need extra sleeping space, and this is to do your awning in and out, turn your lights on for your entry step, and then to turn the awning light on there for you. Okay? Those are your heat ducts right there. As you can see, as we're inside here, you notice we got the slides in, but we have the ability to get to everything. We can get to our cooktop, we can get to our sink, our microwave, we can get back to the bathroom. We can also get here to the uh, 12 cubic foot refrigerator. The only thing we can't get to is the full master bath in the back. You still can, you just have to climb over the bed. Okay? So now we're going to go ahead and put the slides out. We got to start her up here real quick. Okay, now you can see we've got all the slides out in the 34 doggone sure FR3. So once we get the slides out, you can see how much more room we have. The big room we have back in the back with your king bed. And then you also can see we can get back to our full bath, which we'll show you a little bit later on. But let's go ahead and start back up in the front. Mr. Cameraman, go ahead and have a seat in the driver's seat, please. What you can see as he's walking by, you can see on the FR3, you have a little table right here. So when you turn around these chairs, you can make part of your living area when you're sitting out here conversing or watching TV, whatever it may be, okay? So here we're inside the motorhome. You're on your left-hand side there. You can see down there you have your cup holder. Then you have your LCI electronic leveling, which what you do on that is just hit the auto level, and it will automatically go down and level out the coach side to side and front to back. Okay, then you have your headlight controls, your battery boost right there. What that's going to do is that's going to connect the house and the chassis batteries together. So that way if you are getting low on your battery, you can still start the coach. Okay? Come on around. There's a Ford V10 that you have the chassis on. You have your cruise control controls right there on the steering wheel. And then you have all of your monitors there for the actual engine itself. And one thing I wanted to show you too as well, which is a Total Value RV exclusive. Okay? When you're out shopping around for that 34 DS FR3, you might say, hey, Where's that one with 49 miles on it? Well, you're probably going to have a long pause. Some looking around. Might even grab his phone try and call someone. The only people he could be calling to find out where it's at is right here at Total Value RV in Elkhart, Indiana. 49 miles. Why is that important? You're the first person to put the first critical miles on the coach. Not somebody who gets paid to get from here to wherever it may be as quick as possible. You get to break the coach in, not somebody else. Okay? So... 49 miles that you're out shopping around, okay? Along with all the other great values that you have in this coach. There's your backup monitor right there. Turn your turn signal on, and there you can see down either side of the coach. 
there you have for your mirror heat right there and you do have the power mirrors which is something new for 2020 on the FR3 the controls for your for, for your uh, heater or your air conditioner then here you have for your fog lights your LED lights you have the power shade okay it's in the FR3 black out everything for you right there okay and you have the radio turn on here where you want the speakers to be the cockpit or the outside and then your living room speakers right there okay then here in the passenger seat you have your little place here that you can go out for a little computer area there you have the big windows right there okay and here you have the pull down shade which is new for 2020 okay so you got the blackout shade there and the blackout shade there as well okay so now we'll come on out here nice thing that on this floor plan which i think is great okay here's your kitchen countertop you got the sink covers right here okay you do have the big dual stainless steel sinks right there for you the residential faucet right here then you also have your countertop extension right here if you need a little bit more countertop okay and then here we have some storage up here okay and here we have some more storage down here okay and then what I like about this drawer is not only is this a nice drawer here but also another countertop extension you can use okay then when you want to get at what's in there you just take that there see the little latch there slide that back in and now you have a drawer and then if you need the countertop extension just pull it back up hook it up and you got it right there okay so nice big deep drawer there some storage there and some storage here okay then here you have your three burner cooktop with the glass cover okay you also have your tile backsplash in the back there okay then here you have your 22 inch oven nice size oven so that way you can get a nice pizza in there whatever it may be here you have your microwave which is residential size okay and here you have some more storage up here okay you might say huh hey i don't have a pantry what is beautiful about this? See this little lever right here? Look at this, guys. Walk-in pantry. Got storage right there. Keep your spices right here. Some more storage here. Right here, you have a silverware tray. Okay. And then here, you have some more storage. So look at all that storage that you've got. And then you also notice it's got the backlight on there, too, as well. So you can light it up. it look good. And then also, when you're done, then just shut this here. And boom, we have our TV area. Okay, and also down there, you can also see that you have your fireplace. So that fireplace, you can either have it on for just ambiance or you can turn it on and it will kick out some heat for you as well. Okay, and this 34DS, look at the nice big wraparound dinette that we have. Four adults can comfortably sit in here, and with the cushion back there, at the end of the day, you can sit back there, lean back there. Watch your TV from this position, your TV from this position. Once you turn around your two uh, driver and passenger seat, you have two more seats. And on this particular model, we have the theater seats in there, which you do have the recliner. And you do have the place here to storage. Okay? And here we have some more storage here. Notice what I like about this. The doors come down. Okay? Very easy to get stuff in and out. Okay? More access to the door as opposed to it being lifting up this way. Just a small little thing. Okay, there's some more storage. You see you have the LED lights all the way throughout the coach. Okay, then up here in the front, we also have our bunk, which I had mentioned earlier. Which you just take here. And just take it down. So now you got a place more sleeping place that's been hidden for you okay it's got the nice little mattress up in there you've got the room right in there place they can keep some knickknacks up in there for you okay and you have your speakers up in there as well too okay and if you want you can just take this mattress out and just keep some stuff in there and use it as maybe like a small little safe okay so as we're looking around one thing I want you to notice as you're shopping what Forest River likes to call the Max Air Flow Windows. Okay? Look at how big this window opens up. Okay? So you've got that window that can open all the way up. You've got a window right there. You've got a nice big window here. And you've got a nice big window in the kitchen. So your Max Flow 
windows, airflow, get you a lot of nice natural air in here. You have your air conditioner in the front, which does have the quick cool. You just open that up if it's real hot, and it can help cool down just this area particularly. Or when you shut it, it'll go back down through the air ducts. Okay, so there's the kitchen area. Also in the kitchen area, what do you need? You gotta feed everybody, right? So we got a 12 cubic foot or 18 cubic foot refrigerator right here. Okay, it's more cold will run off of the gas or the electric, and you do have the freezer right there. Okay, enough room to take everything in for you. Okay. So we had mentioned earlier, the theater seating is right here. Yes, we mentioned that earlier, but you can also see here that you do have the recliner. You sit back, relax, watch TV, tell everybody, hey, did you see that fish I caught? I swear to you, it was like this big. You know, it's probably only like that big, but it's going to be about like that big. Okay, go out and have some fun with family. Heads up moments. Here's where we have our half bath. Okay. You do have the porcelain stool in the front bath in the FR3, okay? Here you've got a little place here you can put some towels or whatever it may be in. Stainless steel sink right there. Some more storage there. Some storage here. Some there. Some there, okay? You have your heat duct right down in there. You have your fan test, or not your fan, but your little air fan right there. You do have an air duct right here, okay? So there's your little half bath that you can get at when all the slides are closed. So now we're back in the bedroom. I mentioned to you earlier we have the full residential king size bed in this 34DS. That cushion right there is for when you put your table down will make your sleeping area for you. Okay, you have some more storage there and more storage back there as well. Okay, and here you also have, this is something neat that I really am intrigued by. Underneath the bed, you got your half moon storage right there. Okay, put something in there. It's up out of the way. Here we have a full closet right here. And another place you can store some stuff. Some more place for storage. Drawer right there. Okay, another drawer there. This is where you have the access to your. Um, there's your fuse box right there. So if your fuses go out or whatever it may be, that's where you get access to it. It's right there, okay? And here, even in your bedroom TV, you have some more storage back there. Okay. And new for 2020, 34DS. Comes with the washer and dryer as an option. So you have the Splendid washer and dryer, the combo unit right there. Or if you don't want the washer and dryer, you can just use it for storage, okay? Then we're going back here. This is your control for your air conditioner in the back because you have another air back here. Remember, we had 50 amp service. And this is the full bath back here. You have some storage here. You have your window here. You got your air duct. You have a heat duct back in here as well. Okay. Um, I'm going to come out. Let the cameraman come in. You see, there's your bathroom sink. Here you have some medicine cabinet there. Some storage there. Nice big row of four drawers right there, some more storage here, and then there's your shower with the glass shower door for you, okay, so you got it all right there, okay, so, you might say, hey, that is, I'm doggone sure that's a pretty good value, so you might say, hey, how can I get a hold of you, well, we have a phone, 866-282-4460, visit us on the web at totalvaluerv.com, or if you want to drive, you can get on the toll road 8090, get off at exit 92, take a right at the first light, take a right at the next light, go through the four-way stop, second drive, take another right. So three right turns in order to make the right decision. What we like to say here is we like to say, hey, you're going to come in as a stranger and you're going to leave as a friend. We also wanted to stress to you too as well, something new for this year for Total Value RV. We are going to just go ahead and have show pricing daily. Okay? Every day we're open, we're going to have show prices daily. Save yourself the hassle. Don't get, you know, just get in the car and come here, okay? Free parking, free everything else, okay? Or just visit us on the web, give us a call, we'll help you out. If you see something that we missed, let us know. If you got another motorhome you'd like to see us do a walk around on, email us at totalvaluerv.com and let us know and we'll do it for you. If you're still here, thanks for watching. Okay, one more thing that I wanted to show you, and this is going to be a shout out to our old rep, Mr. Fawcett. He used to love this portion 
of our video. This is a Forest River exclusive. Say for example you're walking around the coach and you're wondering how do I get out? Hmm. It's a question that's often asked. Okay, What Forest River has done for you is they've gone ahead and put up the exit sticker. So if you get confused look around the coach Forest River FR3 Georgetown exclusive just find the exit. That's usually where the door is. Hope you're doing well in retirement, Craig.